Grocery row, 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 yeah. All right, that was a bit much, but uh, yeah, I'm here at the grocery row. I've collected uh, a few bags, well, more than these, but uh, these are the ones I brought here, and uh, it's time to mulch. So, um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk up and down the grocery row, show you what kind of mess it is, and I'm, I'm gonna show you how big of a mess it will be when I'm done. It is a bit windy, that might uh, do something with the microphone, and uh, it might also do something with the mulch I'm about to deposit. Uh, in my opinion, what I should do, but I don't have the materials right now, what I should do is add all the leaves and then on top of it throw this. Because this sticks better than leaves and it keeps the leaves down. So if possible, I have to come back with, uh, with one or two more bales of straw. And then this will be have mulched very thoroughly, heavenly and heavenly, heavenly. <laughs> And uh, that would uh, that would please me. Yes, um, the grocery row isn't looking like it's a beautiful place at the moment. It's a bit weedy. It's a bit. Well, this area is really not really a part of the grocery row. That is the grocery row. Uh, it really needs TLC, but season is over. We have nothing but rain, and uh, I'm a bit uh, unmotivated to. Uh, work really hard on this because this is already doing so well even though it might not look like it this looks a bit hmm, it's because i took away a lot of stuff there but the mulch will take its place now and the same goes for all these open places things are dying back slowly uh, there is still food uh oh, that, that one is still there as well that one is still there as well that's a big one and uh, there's still food, herbs and a few flowers, but uh, first time I'm growing parsley. First time, yeah, first time. Oh my, that looks really good. Really good. Yeah, need more of those. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, the cuttings, the sticks that I just stick in, they work. I had some other mold somebody, a friend of mine, had to get rid of, so I just took the branches and just throw them in here. I will come back with the pruners and, and cut it a little bit smaller later, but it's okay for now. There's more, more of that left and right. It, it definitely looks a bit trashy. And uh, definitely time to take this way away. It looks a bit trashy, but that's kind of what I'm going for. And uh, because it works, I'm just trying to prove that a garden doesn't really have to look good to function properly. And uh, to be honest, it's it's fall now, so it might not look awesome, but it really does in spring and summer. So I don't mind. It's it's on its way back. I'm gonna try and uh, increase the fertility and mulch everything to keep all the creatures that live in this small area of uh, or this small row, uh, uh, you know, just to keep them all happy and so they can keep working for me all year round to improve the soil. So I'm gonna. I'm going to do this, this uh, video editing thing again, you know, I'm going to pause the video now and, and come back to, uh, well, I'm just going to show you where the leaves ended up. So it's just five bags, not much yet, but, you know, it's a start. Let's go. See you in a bit. And I'm back. Looks different, doesn't it? It only took me about one or two minutes to empty those bags. And uh, I, I'm not... I'm not flipping it over, I'm just grabbing a few handfuls and scattering it and that way I can see if there's any kind of uh, plastics or stuff in there that I don't want. But uh, to be honest, nothing. Uh, it was clean, it's all good leaves. Uh, I, I take them from the near the graveyard and it's uh, not really crowded there, not a lot of uh, youth that are dropping candy wrappers and everything. So yeah. Uh, uh this is just a completely different view now i'll let you look for yourself before i uh, start explaining things look at this beauty Woo. 
more parsley. This is not doing great all over. So, like I said, we ignored that bit. That's not part of the grocery road. It's my trash corner, really. So, it looks different. The, the colors, they, they accent all the green. So everything that looked a bit like it was dying and, and breaking down and, and going into a bit of a depressed mode. Now with the, with the fresh fall leaves in there, every, everything that's green is just popping out again. And uh, it looks good, even though it's a mess. It looks good. It looks good. And it's, I don't know, I, I don't mind walking on this still. This is, uh, I could do barefoot gardening here, uh, albeit there's one or two spiky plants, but... Nah, Anish, you can see that I haven't been really, again, not really thorough. I'm just throwing it everywhere. And remember, this is just a topping of the mulch that was already there. My beds are all mulch, so you will not see any soil uh, visible in the beds. If you do, point it out to me and I will make sure it's gone. Even the hill that I, the dam that I built here, uh, which had visible soil, not anymore. Why not? Just because. So, and if somebody could tell me when I need to harvest these ones and what to do with it, I would be, uh, that would be much appreciated as well. I know you have to let them go a long time, but uh, I have no clue, so let me know. And uh, show me your grocery system, show me your mulching systems. I want to see what you guys are doing. And uh, this is food for wildlife. And uh, yeah, are you using the leaves as well? Are you also utilizing the mulch you can make from it? The absolutely perfect material that comes from this if you, if you let it sit like I'm doing in other locations and let it break down. That, would, that is just such a good material that we all need as a, as a gardener. It's basically a composting process without the nitrogen. It's just carbon mostly and highly uh, leaning towards the fungal, uh, the fungi to break everything down instead of the bacteria to break everything down, which, the, which are in the compost systems mostly. So let me think, uh, let, let me hear, uh, what do you think about this trashy system over here? Because I love it. I think this is permaculture, this is, this is the grocery road, this is mulching, this is nature, this is this is how it works. This is how you get the best results. And remember, I have not fed these beds. Only the first year, there went a little, uh, a little bit stuff from the, uh, from the chicken coop went in here, but not a lot. And uh, from there on out, it's been nothing else but mulch, 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 mulch. I have not put anything else. No amendments. No nothing. Just mulch. Yeah. You know, everything that grows here, you pick it, and it just simply goes back. And that's all I do. And uh, I add some from, you know, my surroundings, like, uh, you know, I've got, I've, got, I've got plenty of stuff that I can use here and I can, I get a lot of weeds from my neighbors and such, so. The grocery row, guys, another, a very proud system and uh, very, uh, yeah, I was a bit bored, I was a bit, I was a bit, meh, what should I do, the weather is bad, but collecting fall leaves is always a nice break. I will be doing that. That will be the only task I'll be doing the, the upcoming few weeks because right now the leaves are falling and at some areas they put like fences or fenced in areas where the people that live there can deposit their leaves and uh, it's like I said I go near a graveyard where there's no traffic uh, and and uh, yeah it's just I can just collect it that easily it takes me about five minutes to collect five bags full of them it takes even less than that to dump them here and it's not heavy lifting it's it's nice work and uh, you know even my hands are not even getting that dirty so well while you've seen this hand it's gonna wave bye and i will see you next time in the grocery row bye